Well, you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be looking at how we can boot into safe mode inside a windows 10 operating system now a lot of people are going to know how to do this already but there's a lot of people that don't know how to do it and i thought i'd show you a few different ways of getting into safe mode now safe mode is a really good way of um, getting into uh, windows desktop if your system is not booting up properly to the normal desktop and you can also run some other tools from there as well it's a great way to see whether you've got an issue. So what we're going to do here is have a little look at how we can go about booting into safe mode inside a Windows 10 operating system. As I said, I'll show you a few different ways to go about doing this. So the first way we're going to do is going in down to the start button here. I'm going to go to where it says settings, click on settings, and this will open up the settings panel, pull down on the right hand side, and you should see that little tab called update and security. Click on that. Once this populates, you can come down to where it says recovery here, and then you want to use the advanced startup, and this is going to allow us to get into uh, the boot manager. So what we're going to do here is re restart now. Now on restart, you're going to get a choose an option. So we're going to come down to where it says uh, troubleshoot here. Now the next part is going down to advanced options. As you can see, we've got now six options open, and we're going to go to where it says Change Windows Startup Behavior. Just here, where it says Startup Settings. Click on that, and as you can see here, we've now got Restart to Change Windows options, such as Enable Low Resolution for Video Mode, Enable Debugging Mode, Enable Boot Login, Enable Safe Mode. Okay, so this is what we want to do. So we're going to go Restart and this is the area where we want to boot into. Okay, so as you can see here now, we've got option four to boot into safe mode or safe mode net networking to do option five. So we're gonna push five with safe mode networking. This will give us internet access in safe mode. Now you notice the screen is a little bit smaller in safe mode, but this is basically how you get into safe mode uh, on a Windows 10 operating system. We'll reboot the system now back to the desktop and I'll show you another way of doing that. So let me restart the system. Okay, so now we're back at the desktop and another way you can get into safe mode is if you come down to the start button here, right click on this, now when you right click you should see shut down and sign out and if you come down to where it says restart if you hold the shift key down while you click on restart that's going to give us some options so what we're going to do here is hold the shift key down the left shift key on your keyboard and push restart keep hold of that shift key and there you go you've got that option again uh, it's a lot more easier doing it that way and as you can see we can go back into troubleshoot here advanced options and then start up settings and then you can see here we can go and do the same process again you would choose whatever you want to do either number four safe mode with uh, just normal safe mode or number five safe mode with networking or number six safe mode with command prompt so we'll do number five again And there we are back at the desktop and as you can see here in the corners here you will see safe mode. So let me just show you another way. So we're going to restart the system. Okay now we're at the desktop again. Another way to do this is come down to the search the web and windows and type in here msconfig just like so and then we can click on system configuration here. And as you can see here, we've got normal startup, diagnostic startup, and selective startup. If you come to where it says boot, the boot tab here, you can just put the tick in, okay, safe boot, and this will go into the minimal uh, boot, okay. Now, obviously, you've got some other options here, but we're going to leave that as is. And also, you can have this as safe mode with networking here as well, but we're just going to leave that as minimal and just go into safe mode that way. Click OK. And restart the system so as you can see here now we've got the small little window starting up and this will be safe mode as you can see here 
Okay, so now we need to remove this safe mode option from the boot menu, otherwise it's going to boot into safe mode automatically. You can see this is greyed out here. So what you do to remove it is right click on the start button here, click run, type in msconfig in this little box here, click OK. The system configuration will open. You want to go to boot here and you can remove this tick away from here as well and apply an OK. Restart and we should be back at our desktop in normal mode as you can see here. Now there's also software that you can use as well and one of them's from Nick Shaw at foolishit.com. As you can see here this is the um, program it's called Bootsafe and it's a very simple program and you can download it from his website. Uh, it's basically a little tool that allows you to boot straight into safe mobile networking and command prompt. I'll show you how to do that uh, right now. There's also another one called Boot Safe, uh, which is by um, another company, Super Anti uh, Spyware Company. So we'll have a look at the Boot Safe by Nick Shaw first. We're going to go into the folder here and right click on this and run this as administrator. Say so yes. And then this program will open up. You can choose whether you want safe mode or safe mode with networking or safe mode with command prompt. And then what you can do is modify and reboot or make modifications only and reboot manually or you can remove the modi uh, modifications once you've uh, done that. So what we're going to do is modify and reboot the system and boot into safe mode with networking. I'm going to say yes. I just let the system boot up and as you can see we've got the small screen and we've now gone into safe mode uh, with networking. So that's how you can do that. So what we're going to do here now is uh, remove that and the way you can remove that is again just go into the application and you can remove modifications. All boot modifications have been removed and then you can just restart your system. So I'm going to right click and restart. And there we are back to our normal mode, boot, it, boot into our desktop, just like so. Now the other one I did mention is this one here. And you can see here, boot safe, and it's just the same thing, normal restart, safe mode, minimal, safe mode networking and so on it's just another program the same sort of thing as a uh, Nick Shaw's one so that's basically how you can boot into safe mode inside a Windows 10 machine there's a number of ways there to do it you can pick which one that suits you best uh, I hope this one helps you out guys my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos then hit that like button also hit the subscribe button if you want to be notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you've got problems with your computers or any questions or any video requests or anything like that, or you want me to do a review or something, then head over to my forums, the information's on the screen. You can join up over there for free and join the community, and uh, that's the best place to get hold of me. You can also join my Facebook fan page and go over there and like over there as well. I'll put the content over there as well. So with that, have a great day, and I shall see you again in the next video. Bye for now.